NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang takes the stage today for the company's annual GTC conference. Our very own Dan Howey is on the ground in San Jose, California, and he tells us the latest that we should be expecting out of this. Dan, bright and early for you. Thanks so much for hopping on. Yeah, bright, not so much. Still dark outside here. But the, <laughs> the big thing that we can uh, expect out of this event really is more news on what uh, Tesla, uh, excuse me, NVIDIA has cooking up uh, with its next generation chips. Now, uh, there's reports that, uh, and honestly, previous uh, inklings from NVIDIA itself that uh, we'll see their next generation Blackwell Ultra chip. Now, that would be uh, the successor to Blackwell, which is the current lead chip that NVIDIA has. And then also, we're hearing that we could see more of what they call uh, Vera Rubin. And so uh, Jensen Wong had shown off uh, previously uh, a roadmap of where NVIDIA's chips are going. And that would be the next level uh, of the, the chip and an all new platform from what they have as Blackwell now uh, to Rubin. Uh, Vera would be the successor to their Grace uh, CPU and these are all things that Nvidia has previously uh, kind of shown off, as I said it at other uh, conferences, uh, kind of showing what their roadmap will be moving forward. Now, in addition to that, they're going to have their very first quantum day. This is uh, going to be focused on uh, quantum computing. Uh, you know, Jensen Wong had kind of raised eyebrows when he said that a practical quantum computer is still you know decades away. Uh, some in the quantum computing community said, no, it'll be you know five to 10 years. Sundar Pichai had said uh, something along those lines. I've spoken to experts uh, in, in the area and they've said, nobody really knows. It's basically up in the air at this point still. Quantum computing is uh, still kind of being researched, uh, not necessarily something that's going to uh, be practical in the, the very near future. Uh, but again, there's just predictions and that's all they are at this point. And then finally, uh, we expect NVIDIA to re uh, reference DeepSeek. Now, DeepSeek obviously uh, kind of raised fears on Wall Street that AI companies were overspending when they said that they only spent a, a few million dollars to build out their deep seek uh, uh, AI models versus the hundreds of millions that Silicon Valley companies have spent. There's been kind of controversy around whether or not that's accurate, uh, whether that it was more than a few million dollars uh, because this was kind of distilled from other models. Uh, but the, the reality is NVIDIA has been pushing this idea that these are reasoning models, thinking models, uh, the, similar to uh, OpenAI's O1 or uh, Google's Gemini flash thinking, uh, and that when they are doing this thinking or reasoning, uh, they require a lot more horsepower than uh, you would otherwise have with other models, more, more uh, basic predictive models. And so that would benefit NVIDIA uh, because it would mean that more companies uh, would have to spend more on AI chips to power those models. And so that's going to be something that you would expect NVIDIA to kind of hammer home uh, at GTC. And then I'm sure you can expect plenty more uh, software updates that NVIDIA usually rolls out. Uh, this is going to be a big showcase. If you watch their CES keynote uh, or their keynote last year at GTC, you know that they're chock full of information uh, and you ex uh, can expect Jensen Wong to, to dial in uh, on all of those. Yeah, couldn't come at a more important time. We saw 90% of the market recovering yesterday. The names that didn't recover, all of them big tech. Dan, thanks so much. Really appreciate it.